Sylvia stared at the photo of herself. The bedroom walls were the same. Chipped paper. Glue drooled corners. The photo was taken from outside the window on the first floor. Sylvia raced to the police station, waved the picture over the front desk. And, and someone sent a photo like this last week from a further distance. But this is at my window. My window! Ma'am, take a deep breath. It's telling me, Sylvia shuddered. It's telling me it's getting closer. It's getting closer. Next time it'll be here, I know it. Her cheeks quaked and she began to sob. The receptionist stood with pity. Ma'am, we'll do everything we can to help, okay? You can count on us. We're here to help. Okay, we'll send an officer to patrol the house tonight. She slid a sheet across the desk. Just write your address here, and we'll send someone at sundown, all right? Okay, Sylvia continued. Thank you. Sylvia plucked the cup's pen and wrote her home address. Sylvia's curtain zapped open. She checked the street, her watch, eight o'clock. It had been an hour after dark with no officer in sight. She dialed the phone. Hello, uh, this is Sylvia Arnold. I was at the station earlier, and I told one of the receptionists about a, a stalker who had taken a photo of me. Is there any way I could talk to her? I, I can't remember her name. This is her. Has an officer not arrived yet? We sent him an hour ago. Sylvia plucked the curtains. No, no one's here yet. Can you call him and see where he is? Absolutely. I'll call right back. Thanks. Thanks so much. The phone cut quiet, and Sylvia routed to her bedroom. Suddenly, she heard a knock at the door. She flipped the peephole, and then the door handle. Oh, thank God you're here. I was losing my mind. I just called the station asking where you were. An officer stepped inside. Pig was no slur, but a nice description. His chubby cheeks caked in salty sweat, and his beady black eyes galloped the room. Patterson gleamed nicely on his silver name tag. It's Sylvia, right? That's right. You want some coffee or anything to drink? That's all right. I'll just have a look around if that's okay. Sure, please do. Officer Patterson retreated to a room as Sylvia returned to the window. The phone. Sylvia snatched it off its hook. Hello? Hello, is this Ms. Arnold? Y yes. Our patrol officer wouldn't pick up, so we're sending someone else. He should be there in a few minutes. We're sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, no, 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 he showed up. He just got here. Who showed up? Uh, Officer Patterson, I think? The line trembled quiet with the echo of distant typing. Hmm, no, that can't be right. We don't have an Officer Patterson. Sylvia heard the flutter of a camera and the pulse of warm breath behind her. It's that time of year again, where the darkness feels that much darker, and every creak and groan of your house feels that slight bit more unsettling. It's that time of year where your sense of fear and dread creeps more deeply upon you, and your fears are suddenly heightened. But there's no need to fear. We have the perfect solution for you. Spooktober 2024 is, once again, sponsored by Venitas. As you all know by now, Venitas offers the topmost quality in gaming equipment. And with their top-rated customer service, you won't have any buyer's remorse nightmares, even if you live on Elm Street. You can avoid the terror of added fees, because Venitas ships free to the United States, Canada, and hell. Well... Hell, Michigan, that is. What are you waiting for? Go to Venitas.com today. Still scared? 
How about you use code PRESSSTARTMOM at checkout and save an additional 10% off your order? That should keep the monsters at bay. For now. <laughs>